What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel. And today is one of my favorite parts of the month. Random wrestling merch of the month for the month of November 2022. We have five random pieces of wrestling merch that we're going to talk about that, um, you know, it could be toy related. It could just be random anything wrestling. I usually go around my collection, pull out little things that I think are interesting or different, or maybe they have like a good story to them. But as usual, it is brought to you by my new book, The Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, available now on Amazon.com. It is a 500 plus page guide to over 40 years of wrestling figure collecting. It features a forward by Matt Cardona. It features photography by the AEW Jazz Wears photographer, Matthew Goldberg. It's available in black and white, full color, paperback and hardcover. Now click the link below in the description, pick up your copy today, trust me, you want to keep track of what you have, want, and need. Um, I mean, it's got everything. Original San Francisco Toy Makers WCW right there. Here's the Just Toys WCW Twistables. Um, and each section is organized by brand. So, I mean, it's pretty good. We even have um, the Ring of Honor Buddies, if you knew that they existed. Um, over here, we have the uh, NJPW Cello Toys. There's uh, Pro Wrestling Noah. I mean, it's got everything, guys. Pick it up today. But we're going to get right into it. Number one is this. I saw this, and I honestly forgot about this game. And I had a lot of fun with it. I know it didn't get the best necessarily reviews, but I enjoyed it as a kid. It is Backyard Wrestling. Don't try this at home. For the PlayStation 2 console, um, on the cover, it has Josh Prohibition and M-Dog 20, um, who went on to be Son of Havoc. And Josh Prohibition, I think he recently got back into the uh, back into the game, and he uh, fought Matt Cardona, who we were just talking about. Uh, really interesting game. It had I'm gonna read the back to you. It says over 30 hardcore wrestlers. It had um, a bunch of psychopathic records, uh, artists, and um, people who worked with them. For instance, Violent Change, Shaggy Two Dope, obviously. It had Sabu. It had um, Rude Boy, I'm pretty sure it had Evil Dead, maybe even uh, Twisted, I can't remember, it's been so long since I've played it, Tylene Buck, who was Major Guns in WCW, awesome, like, I thought they were pretty cool, um, I guess you'd say scenery, I don't know what you could, because they weren't rings, you weren't fighting in rings, you were literally fighting in backyards in this game, which I thought was really cool. There's Shaggy Tudo, Katana, um, Violent J. You could do Tag, King of the Hill. I mean, there was some really cool stuff here. I enjoyed this game. There was even number two that came out, which I thought was better. It had Zandig in it, which was really cool for me. Um, and it was described as Jackass meets the squared circle in America's backyard. But I always thought the cover was iconic with M Dog jumping on the Josh Prohibition. Pretty cool. I loved that game as a kid. It was pretty. Uh, it was pretty intense. Pretty intense. Um, next up, we have from Pro Wrestling Crate. This was a Papa Shango makeup kit. Now on the back, it's just like typical warnings in the Pro Wrestling Crate logo. But I love the artwork of Papa Shango on this. I mean, like the drawing and everything is just so clean and crisp and the colors pop. It's got a makeup crown for you to outline everything in and then red, black, and white for you to paint everything, um, which I thought was cool. Like it is only three colors. And you don't really think about that until you have to do it. So I, I don't know. I just thought this was pretty cool. I love little weird things like this. I remember in the 90s, they had like an Ultimate Warrior and LOD WWF makeup kit. I used to have it. Um, Maybe I need to pick it back up again. So, and this actually says, ironically enough, that this expires September 16th, 2022. But the main star of this for me is, is the artwork on it. I thought it was just really cool and fun. Now the rest of this stuff, we got some cool things here. First up, I found this, it was just so random that it, it fit in it's it's action figure related it is a wwf wrestling superstars grand toys from canada ljn poster of outback jack 
Um, I just found this, honestly, I was going through an old yearbook and this was like in there, I guess being flattened out, I don't know why. From 1987, excuse me, it says, got Hulkamania back here, everybody cheering, which I always love. I always love the back, the um, posters for the backdrop where it's got the ring. I just always thought it was funny that the ring barely goes up to their thighs. Which I thought was weird. I feel like the, the ring post should have been higher. Um, but Outback Jack, such an obscure character. And there's the logo, the picture of him, the toothless. He's flexing, he's got the thumb up. It's in the attire of the figure. Um, kinda, in a way, doing a similar pose. The one thing that always stood out to me was this kid down here. He's got a camera and he's got a Hulk Hogan 8x10, which I thought was really cool. USA sign, Hulkamania, the Wrestling Superstars logo, WWF at the top. I love these posters. And I remember as a kid, I wanted to collect them all, and I did collect a bunch of them. But I gotta find them. I know I had some really good ones, too. Um, that was before they went up in value. But yeah, Outback Jack, which I thought was pretty cool to see. Next up, this is obscure. It's a food item. It is a WWE Pez 3-pack. Um, this is from 2016, so... And it's all intact. Uh, anytime I have a food item, um, I do not keep it in my room. And I don't suggest anybody else to. Don't put it in storage, don't put it in a room. Where you keep these things, um, if it's a refrigerated item, keep it in the fridge. Uh, if it is a non-refrigerated item, put it in your pantry. Um, and it, 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 it's most likely safe there. But this three pack has The Undertaker, John Cena, and uh, The Rock. And I think this is the only time ever the WWE or WWF has had Pez dispensers, um, and they haven't had any since. I think the likenesses on them are okay. I think John Cena's looks great, Rock's looks at, eh, and the Undertaker's is just weird. It's like almost like scaled down from the other two. Like his head is much smaller than the other two. It comes with a bunch of Pez in the back, which I loved Pez as a kid. Uh, wonder when these expire. Definitely by now. But it's got the WWE logo on the side, the WWE logo on the belt in the front. It's got the fireworks. I just thought this was such a nice set. And initially I was going to open it, but I'm glad that I didn't. I think this is a really cool thing. Um, nostalgia. Might even get an acrylic for it to keep it extra safe from, you know, you don't want ever anything getting to it with food items, you know? Very cool. Always. Love this item. That was really cool. Pretty cool. And last but not least, it's a foam finger, and it's one that you don't really see too often. And the front says, it's time, it's time. It's like dust. That's how long this thing's been in storage. It's time, it's time, and on the back, it says, it's Vader time, and it's got the WWF Attitude logo. This is from 1998. Um, really cool. I don't think I ever used this. I just bought it at the, th at the show and, and kept it. But, you know, these things don't last long. They get real decrepit, and they get damaged very, very easily. So I just, where do you store one of these? You know what I mean? But I just thought it was awesome to see this, that Vader had a WWF uh, foam finger, and he's doing... The V. It's time, it's time, it's Vader time. So, yeah, so this month on Random Wrestling Merch of the Month, we took a look at the Papa Shango makeup kit, the Backyard Wrestling Don't Try This at Home PlayStation 2 video game, which I think it was exclusive to PlayStation 2, the Outback Jack Wrestling Superstars um, uh, poster, the WWE Pez set, and the Vader hand. So comment below, let me know your favorite of the five items that I showed off this month. 
And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up the ultimate wrestling figure checklist. Go to prowrestlingtees.com slash Fig Heel for all your merchandise needs. And go to www.whatheel.com. Join Whatnot today and get $15 off your first purchase. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Peace. Want to turn your collection from this into this? Then head over to Whatnot. Whatnot is a community marketplace with live stream auctions. See exactly what you're buying before you get it. Auctions starting at just $1. You can interact with sellers, celebrities, fans. It's safe and secure and has grail pieces for steel prices. So click the link in description below to join now and receive $10 towards your first purchase. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Check out my official sponsor, Whatnot, by clicking the link in description to join and save $10 on your first purchase.